All right, so we've got 8,000 uh, rubles in a bank account that offers 3% interest per annum. That's there's an M missing, but per annum means each year, compounded quarterly, all right? So let's write some stuff down. I like to do this. Present value equals 80,000. That's a multiple put in. Uh, the interest, so the rate is 3%. The compounding is quarterly. That means four times per year. Uh, and then for this A part, it says N equals six. All right, so there's all my stuff. I'm finding future value. So again, I'm just going to put this in. Once you guys start using the calculator, you may realize that you want to just use the calculator. And if that's what you figure out that you want to do, um, that's fine. I would definitely still write this stuff down right here. Uh, let's see. So to the four times six. So that's going in the calculator. 80,000 times one plus three over four. TV, four plus six. So 95,713.08, 95,713.08 is the amount of money um, that that person would have at the end of six years. Then it says calculate how long it takes for his original amount of money to double. So now B is different. So for B, we're going to make a new chart here. So present value is going to be 80,000. Uh, future value needs to double, so 160,000, which is this times two. The interest rate's not changing, and the K value, the compounding, isn't changing. But this time, I don't know N. All right, and basically, if you're trying to find the N or the R or the K, okay, if you're trying to find any of those things, using the calculator is the absolute best way to do this. So I'm going to go to the calculator right now. I'm going to go to the calculator. I'm going to hit Apps. Number one, number one again. And then I have to enter in here carefully the right stuff. So I have, uh, sorry, it was six years. No, I don't have that, sorry. So I'm going to delete, I'm going to clear that out. And I'm going to go down. It's not going to let me unless I hit another. So I'm going to put in zero. Um, the interest rate was 3%, right? Yes, 3%. The present value was negative 80,000. Payment, leaving it at zero because I'm not talking about anything like that. Future value, 160. And it's important that those don't have the same um, sign. It'll give you an error if they do. Payment per year is one. That's going to be one on a time pretty much. Compounding was four. That's the K value was four. All right now, here's the problem. If you just hit enter, nothing happens. I'm solving for N. So I'm going to go up here, and I have to hit alpha, enter. And then it tells me right there that I need to do that for 23 points. 23.19 years. So N is 23.19 years. So then the trick to this is, in 23 years, it's not going to double. But in the 24th year, it will double. So it's going to happen. It's going to double during the 24th year. All right, 23 is not enough. If you just say 24, you're good. Um, if you say 23.19, it doesn't really make sense because you don't talk about years in that amount of time. All right, so you should say either 24 or during the 24th year, um, the amount of money will double.